There are tons of coding resources out there. So much information that it can feel overwhelming. Like you don't even know where to start, which is totally understandable. Because I know when I first started coding and wanted to look into the full stack development discipline, I had no clue where I wanted to start. And if that sounds like you, well, this video is made specifically for you. Hey, my name is Jamil. I'm a third year computer science major, full stack developer, and I also create educational coding content like this. Throughout my three years in this career so far, I've built full stack applications for business owners using only the MERN stack. And today I'm currently working on my own startup, again, using only the MERN stack, which we'll be going over today. So given my experience, I'd like to say, I think I've got a good amount of knowledge that I can share with you. So anyways, to start off, no matter how many resources you are going to come across, what you are going to be able to take from this video will give you exactly what you need to go out and start learning full stack web development today. In this video, I'll walk you through the exact roadmap for you to become a full stack learn developer. Now, disclaimer, this isn't a course, it's a guide. I'll be breaking down everything that you need to learn from front end all the way into the back end. And I'll also be providing links on each topic so that you can start building your skills right away. And I'll also leave all of the resources inside the description of this video. With all that information, this video might be longer than my previous ones, which are typically under seven minutes. So that's not really saying much, but anyways, grab a notebook, maybe a bag of chips and feel free to follow along. So welcome to the MERN full stack development roadmap. First off, you might be wondering, what the heck is MERN? So MERN is a technical skill stack, a bunch of basically tools that you'll be using to create full stack applications. What does MERN stand for? It stands for Mongo, Express, React, and Node.js. And in this video, we'll be basically going over everything MERN. So you came here for a reason. Let's not waste any time and let's jump right into the video. So when you are starting your full stack development journey, the first thing that you are going to need to understand and your bread and butter is going to be the front end fundamentals. OK, you are going to need to understand how the front end works and you'll be learning HTML. This is going to be the first thing that you're going to learn is HTML. This is a hypertext markup language. This isn't necessarily considered a coding language, but for the sake of this video, it's going to be a coding language. And this is going to be all of the front end of your website. The first thing you're going to want to learn is semantic, semantic HTML, forms, and validation, best practices, and accessibility. This is going to be your basic stuff. From HTML, you are going to learn CSS. CSS is going to be the styling of your website. Again, I'm going to have um, videos about all of this stuff here. I have videos for everything so that you are not confused and you know exactly what to do and jump into. So we are going to be jumping into CSS. You're going to learn about Flexbox, grid, responsive design, CSS pre-processing, all of this stuff. It might sound like gibberish right now because you don't know exactly what this is, but as soon as you step into these, some of these videos, you'll hear about it. You'll learn about it and you'll know what to do. So for your first, maybe one month. And if you're serious, serious about it, maybe your first like two weeks, you will be only touching HTML5 and CSS. That's going to be all you'll be using. The next thing we're going to talk about is JavaScript. Now, after doing HTML and CSS, jumping into JavaScript is going to be like a Hail Mary. It's going to be something that you just did not expect. You will be introduced to your first actual coding language. I, like I said, HTML for the sake of this video is coding, but JavaScript is going to be your first real coding language. And throughout your journey in this course, um, you will be learning variables, data types, operators, functions, and scope, DOM manipulation. This is going to be very important. So when you get to this section in the course that I have linked here, make sure you very pay very much attention because you need to know what's going on there. Promises, async, await, also very important topics, error handling, very important topics. These are the things that you will learn in JavaScript. Now, these are going to be all of your front end fundamentals. These are some things that you are going to have to pay very a lot of attention to. This is your fundamentals for front end. All of this overlaps with full stack development. It all comes together as one. Now, the next thing you're going to jump into is going to be react js i'm going to try to hide some of this stuff so you can go through each one one by one with me 
So you're going to learn React.js. What is React.js? React.js is like a framework for front end. This is going to basically make front end beautiful, make it easy, make things simpler. So you, what are you going to learn from here? You're going to learn the core concepts, components and props, state and lifecycle, hooks, concept, API, and then you're going to get into re advanced topics like React Router, state management, Redux, Redux Toolkit, performance and optimization, testing, stuff like that. So these are going to be the most important things that you need to learn. This course that I linked here from Free Code Camp, this is a really good resource and um, I believe it's like seven hours. If you seriously want to take um, full stack development seriously and you want to take this coding series stuff seriously, you will need to sit down for hours at a time to understand what you're going to do. Now, am I telling you, you need to sit down for seven hours straight and um, watch this course? No, but you should be able to sit down for two hours, watch the first two hours. Okay. Come back, watch another two hours, come back, watch another two hours. You should, if you want to take it seriously, you need to be learning and you need to take the time to learn and you can't be scared to learn. So that's react JS. And that is going to be our R in the Mern stack. So now we're getting really into the Mern stack. So yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay. So now we are going into the big boys. This is honestly my favorite part. And if I were to um, get into coding again, would I specialize in backend development? I don't know. Would it be an idea? Maybe, but let's talk about it. So backend development, this is going to be basically everything on the server side, everything from the, everything that the client does not see. When you go onto Apple's website, you don't see any of the code. All you see is the designs and the front end. For example, what they could possibly be using is react. I doubt that they're using react, but yeah, you don't see any of the backend development, which is this node JS. And this is the N inside of Mern stack. Node.js, you will be learning the basics and architecture. NPM, this is going to be Node Package Manager. Think about Node Package Manager before you get into it. Um, think about it like a, a garage of tools, a garage of community tools that people have made packaged for you and said, hey, you can use this for free. Think about it like that. And you will get into that as well. Pardon me. I did not link the um, Node.js and Express course video for you guys, but I linked it here. So Node.js, you'll be going over that um, file systems, operations, event driven programming. Um, this is like think about event driven programming. When you click something, what happens? Um, that's an event. Clicking is an event. Typing is an event. So think about it like that. This is just a idea of what you're going to go into. Hey, maybe I make my own course. We'll see. Um, Express.js, this is going to be routing, middleware, error handling, um, API development, authentication, and authorization. You know, you need to have some type of authorization before you go into your um, programs. And this is a course by Free Code Camp. And this, and I think React, yeah, the React is also a Free Code Camp course. Very solid course. I'm telling you guys, like, these guys are goaded. They make courses that will help you. This is going to be another eight hour course again, two hours, come back, two hours, come back. If you're seriously, if you're serious about learning and you don't want to buy a course and you don't want to go to school, um, the bare minimum that you can do is watch a video. If you don't want to go to school, if you don't want to buy a course, the bare minimum you can do is be able to sit down through an eight hour course. Now I'm not going to say you have to do that the entire time, come back, take breaks, but it's the minimum. So, Express and Node.js. Express and Node. So now we are nearly all the way through our Mern, the word Mern. Now we're going to get into something else. And this is the fun part because this is when you start realizing I'm really coding. <laughs> this is when you start realizing I'm really making some cool stuff. And that's when we get here into our database. And we are learning MongoDB. There's other databases that you can learn. Po people do uh, PostSQL. Um, I think they do like Pern. That's the Pern stack, PostSQL, Express, React, and Node. 
I can I was going to follow um, roadmap.sh's um, course for it, but I'd much rather do um, Mongo because I have experience with Mongo and I don't have any experience with PostSQL. So I don't want to teach you guys to go about something that I didn't go about. But I heard positive things about PostSQL, but um, my specialty is in MERN. So I'm going to talk about MERN. What you'll learn here is you'll learn database design, CRUD operations, Mongoose ODM, indexing and optimization, aggregation pipeline. This is an entire crash course video of like, there will be like a couple of videos here that you can watch and that you can analyze. Very great for you. Definitely check this out. And you know, this is, this is what you should be doing. Now there's going to be obviously some essential tools and concepts that we want to go over. You're going to want to know the Git basics, GitHub, GitLab. If you don't know what GitHub is, it's basically like, um, it's like your community for, of developers. You find so many tools there. You find so many, so many resources on GitHub. You'll learn about it. Um, this is a video for you guys here. Great video for you to watch. It's, I think it's 30 minutes. So it's relatively short compared to the uh, other videos I talked about. The development tools that you're going to be wanting to use for this um, development stack is going to be VS Code. You're going to want to use po uh, Chrome development tools. So being able to, I know if you have ever hit inspect on your Google Chrome, that is Chrome development tools. Um, we're going to be using Postman and for development, deployment, I mean, <laughs> we're going to use Heroku, Vercel, going to know some AWS basics and Docker fundamentals. Um, this stuff, I don't have a specific resource for this stuff. You, you just literally have to type these things in, but Postman, Chrome DevTools, especially in the beginning, you will be learning about how to set up your things. So don't worry too much about that. Worry more about understanding the concepts, because once you understand this, all this other stuff is going to be uh, easy. Jeez. Now, these are some additional skills that um, I want to talk about. Um, you can even call them honorable mentions. Web security best practices. This goes hand in hand with JWT authentication and put validation. So JWT, uh, when somebody clicks on your login page and it says invalid wrong login, um, invalid credentials, if you put the wrong login in, that's what JWT is. Performance, code optimization, caching strategies, load balancing basics. All right. So now that you've we've talked about a lot of stuff, let's talk about like some of the tips for success. Okay. Tips for success for wanting to do this. So what can I say that can help you guys out? Build projects while learning. When I say that, I mean build projects that already this talk about what you just did even if it's not something super big it doesn't need to be an entire full stack application but if you just learned how to make a login page make your own login page without following the course if you made it once do it again in your own style excuse me do it again in your own style you know decorate it how you want to decorate it that's what i can say practice coding daily when i started learning how to code I coded every day for about an hour. Okay. Every day for about an hour. So practice your code daily. Join developer communities. I have a discord of, I believe at the time that I'm saying this, 1000 people are in there. Road to 10K. I want 10K people in there. That would be fire. That'd be a big community. Contribute to open source. Now, this is something that is looked good upon this is not something that i've done yet but this is something that a lot of people are talking about and this could be something that can help you you can find these on github open sources on github projects commit to those help out keep up with new technologies you know see what see what's new out there and you know you Try to make your Instagram page or and your YouTube page very much developer friendly. You know, make it developer friendly. Make it look like, oh, okay, like I'm seriously learning about this. Don't have your pages looking like, you know, you're still not trying to learn how to code. You're trying to 
you know, if you watch video games, I used to play video games and I watched video games and stuff. My feed used to look like a bunch of video game feed. Just try to make it be interested in it, you know? Don't just say you're interested, be interested. So those are my tips for success. The Discord channel, drop in, at me, say what's up, say you came from this video. Yo, what's up guys? Thank you for sticking to the end of this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, drop a like and subscribe and comment down something that you're interested in with coding. You know, what discipline are you most interested in? And as always, I'll be replying to all the comments and I'll see you in the next one.